morning everybody welcome 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 to my page i am katie with creative crafting by katie come on in folks let me know you're here where you're from all that good stuff if you're watching the replay i'm not using that be cool mama be cool girl no i am not sorry i'm a little bit late tonight but i've been a busy girl i started off this morning at 7 a.m getting up and at it and crafted already this morning right yes i did made that if you missed it go watch the replay please hello adriana good evening adriana hello cena hello andrew come on in folks we're going to be crafting super cute we're gonna make a garland tonight hey debbie and jackie we are going to make a garland tonight and we've got lots to do. So I'm going to be using from the Dollar Tree, both of them. Hey, Tammy and Sandy and Peggy. Good evening. Thank you. Don't forget to sprinkle, smear the mustard, share the love, all of the above. <laughs> I have triangular shaped ones. Patricia, hello. I'm doing fine. Hi, Rosetta and Tammy and Sandy. Um, and some of the more square with the, the points. I'm going to be doing them. These are going to have a word on it. And we'll decide the word. I have two words that I can use because I have five of these. I'm echoing. Really? That's weird. Huh. Is that a problem for anybody else? Rosetta? Or just for you? Anybody else? Am I echo? I'm fine? Okay. I was going to say, I don't know that I've ever echoed, even in this big basement. Okay, so I do have five of these, so I just am choosing a letter that would be five. So I either have relax or beach. And so we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Alrighty? So what I'm going to do is put some nautical things on here. But first of all, we obviously have to do something to it. So we'll set those to the side. I have six of those. And then I have, so then I would have this, two wheels, two boats, and two little ship um, anchors, I mean. Oh, actually, I have one here. Perfect. Because this is chippy. And I don't know if I want to, I would have to repeat it. But I kind of think it's cool. So I kind of might go with that. I honestly think I'm going to stain them all and I think I'm going to chippy them all. That's what I'm going to do. So we won't even play with this one. It, we used it for something else. I took it apart. Yes, I took that lantern apart. And so I'm going to use these two paints. Uh, English Navy and Key West. And they're both Apple Barrel. Oh, good, Rosetta. Hi, Linda. Hey, De Debbie. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to spread the love. So I will just use my antique Waverly, um, sorry, folk art home decor wax. Thanks, Jackie. Carla, what's the matter? Oh, hello. I'm like, wait, at first I read it as help, but I'm thinking you're saying hello with a P. Hello. <laughs> uh, let me get some wax paper down. I'm totally ruining my board by not protecting it. I just start painting on top of it. And it's a hot mess. Hello, Carla. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm just gonna, we'll, we'll be just doing one side of these and, uh, and of course around the edges. Okay. Good evening, Marsha. We're just just gonna have a little bit of fun, and if we don't like the way it turns out, you know what you do? You turn them over and you do them a different way. Hello, Beth, Tracy, Michelle, Renee, and oh, I already said hi to you, Peggy. <laughs> You're sneaking in there. Okay. 
this will be really cute for like a mantle or over a archway or over a window hanging off of a table in an entryway you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about those longer um, entryway tables some people have them like behind a couch depending on if you have a big house something like that you could hang it from this one I'm gonna do a little bit longer because it will go across my mantle and that is decently long it's almost a it's probably two-thirds of the um, of the wall I would I would guess have to get into all these little areas here too I actually think I'm gonna use a paintbrush for that because this is it's um, you know how the baby wipes if you use them how they kind of like pull they pill up and they start leaving all that crap behind <laughs> hello Mary oh Denise I missed it I hope he's doing well I'm assuming he is I'm I'm good I'm grateful thank you I'm gonna read that comment though I have to find out thank you Sandy hello Sandy Good evening, everyone. Wanted to thank you, everyone, for the thoughts and prayers. My husband's surgery went great, and he's resting. Awesome. Hey, Brenda, Selena. Now that I got to Donna, I'm seeing all my friends here. Yes. Awesome, Denise. It's so good. The power of prayer. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Sandy. Buzz. There you go. A little bit of Kurt. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Please don't forget to Sprinkle, smear the mustard. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna do that on all my edges because it's just, um, it's quicker and it's, it's less work when I'm gonna go and do the chippy method. And I know these are really, really small, but it looked cute on that and I like different. Uh, you could scrapbook paper these as well. I just thought, eh, I've done that. Been there, done that. When I did my a uh, couple of Easter ones, I had, I believe I scrapbooked them. These, these would even be cute ladies with bandanas on them. Okay. So. <laughs> Hello, Raven. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you, Denise. So, I've been busy today. Just redecorating my house, like, um, for spring. I never got a chance to do that. I took all my decorations down for Easter, and I never got a chance to put anything up. So, I've had bare walls and, and, and mantles and tables and everything for, for weeks now. And it's like, come on, lady. And so that's been keeping me busy after work. I've been working on that, straightening up, you know, just everyday cleaning, straightening up, whatever. And I crafted this morning and I went to work and now I'm back and that's why I was running late because I didn't know what to make. Hey Rocky, hi Lori. So I'm going to do this. And I was playing around trying to figure out what to use and I found a bunch of nautical stuff from last year. Because I didn't, I have not found any of these wheels, um, uh, these, or the anchors. I do have these, and I have some, some other stuff. So, starfish, and what's the other one? The seahorse, and a whale. But I'm going to keep this pretty basic. I was decorating, uh, like I was mentioning, for springtime. Um, in my living room and then I put all of my stuff in my dining room back up that is for wine wine stuff and I still have a couple things I forgot actually up, or one thing I forgot upstairs and another thing I have to I'm always switching the nails around there's so many nails on this one wall it's sad it's sad anyways and then I have all of my my kitchen in my back hallway to outside is lemons so, 
I've been several rooms decorating today and I love it I just love it and I love to play around with lighting and stuff I'm not quite finished with that they all need new batteries all those I get them at the Christmas tree shop and they have a timer on them so then I can just have them come on at like six o'clock every evening and they stay on for like six or eight hours something like that and then and then they go off and it will last me pretty much my whole season the batteries they get dim but that's okay out of mind out of mind hey patty oh that's awesome denise thank you that's awesome they probably think she, that i'm crazy but i hope they come join us did you tell them to say hello that's awesome i love it you guys are so cool to me You're so good to me all right these are cute just like this what do you think hello Chris. Mm. <laughs> Making sure that my boats are facing the right same direction. Hey, Linda, we don't care when you come, right? Everybody's busy. They have a life. You're not like me, where all you're doing is working and crafting. I'm like, get a life, girl, get a life. So, did everybody have a good day? Mine was pretty boring. Mine was really boring. I actually left work half an hour early today. And I think I'm going to leave early tomorrow, too. Oh, wow. Ah, perfect. It pretty much got it in all the areas for me. Awesome. All right. Let's dry it up. I hope it went well, Rosetta. If you want the job, we'll pray for you. <laughs> if you don't want the job, then we won't. <laughs> I hope you get it if you want it, honey. Hey, Kathy. Um, crackle would be cool on this too. Did you use the um the Elmer's glue or whatever method, Denise, or did you buy crackle paint? Hey, Donna. Yeah, we had a pretty good day. You know, why complain? Oh, Judy, I'm jealous. That's awesome. Congrats, because that's a huge milestone. Um, that's awesome. Patricia that's how it goes I always love it when it's um you're trying to get a bunch of laundry done right it's like washing blankets and sheets and comforters and all that good stuff right and it's just like a, a, I have a, a ton of it when I do it because of my dogs right and I I baby them I let them have like Hunter lays all over pillows and so does Sadie she usually goes under the pillows because she's just a baby like that but um but that's okay I don't mind at any rate what happens to me is I I set this I set it off balance right so then it doesn't it it doesn't it stops the whole cycle and then I go there and everything's soaking wet and I was like of course because I'm trying to get something done all right let's chippy them this one's gonna be navy just well maybe not Maybe we'll do one navy of each and one, that'll be a good idea. We'll do one navy of each and we'll do one turquoise, like, of each. But that doesn't matter as far as putting this on. Just put it on, girl. Put it on.
Um, welcome, Stacy. I missed your comment, but I, I mean, I saw a little bit of it, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is our petroleum jelly. For those of you that might not know this method, this is how we get our little chippy going on. It's going to chip off like this, make it look a little bit old and rustic. And put a, a decent amount on. Some of my areas, especially on my boat, seem a little bit thin. So let me come back in here and fix that up a little bit. Okay. I use a, a foam brush like that. A, these are gen foam brushes that I got from Amazon, and they're actually really good and worth it because they last a really long time. Um, I wish I had an old one, but I didn't because I usually just throw them out because I don't like putting them in my, um, what you call it? I don't like putting it in with my brushes because what happens is they, um, Make it greasy. That's what happens. Makes it greasy. All right, so we were going to do one, one, and I've got that one done. So we'll set that to the side. Get going here, and we'll just go in one direction with this. So, and don't play with it too much. Use a decent amount of paint. And, yeah, it's going to be messy coming through the cracks, but. I'm sure most of you all have already tried this or know how to do this method, but if you don't and you need to ask questions, go for it. Hey, Darla. Ooh, more than I wanted. Messy, messy. All right, let's dry it up a little bit. We're not going to fully dry it, but almost. Where's my little one? My little one always falls on the ground because the cord is short. Exactly with the laundry. The stain, it's just a um, folk art wax, home wax. You can just use brown paint to Rosetta. You can water it down some and just wipe it on with a baby wipe. You don't water it down, wipe it on with a baby wipe. Just depends on how dark you want it. And I'm just using acrylic paint for the top. Hello, Cheryl. Where are we, Andrew? How are you? Move it. That girl, she, she's in the house, everybody. Oh, it's Alex. That's what, she's, what you doing, kid? Draft. Oh, my like draft. It's the, uh, the NFL draft. He's, like, running in the house like something's wrong. That's what's wrong. The draft. Okay. 
So that's how it's going to make it look rustic. If it's This one has actually got a lot. This one's got not as much, but this one I did a while ago, so you could probably scrape some of it off, but that's cool. I like it. Now I'm going to finish drying it. No, yeah, Raven, and it's it's fairly easy to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. He was like, I'm so bored. I think it was Sunday ago. Well, then craft with he's like, not that bored. Okay, fine. Fine. Be that way. Be that way. I don't care. Right, Beth. That's exactly right. Judy, you got the NFL draft also on? Okay, Amanda. You know, he, he makes you think there's something wrong, though. It's like, come on, guy. Don't scare me. This petroleum jelly is like watery it's greasy some you know whatever you have to get it dry and it takes some time maybe I should use my heavier um, my big hair dryer it's like super super good you too Denise well look at you guys go hello Lorraine Nautical garland for my mantle. <laughs> and your hubby's in the hospital, and so you're just sitting there relaxing, right? That's hilarious. We have Mexican for dinner tonight, too. That's so funny. Right, Beth? We ought to get together. Hello, MJ. We better get it together. All right, that's pretty good. We'll just set that to air dry for the rest. I'm going to get myself a new piece of parchment paper for for um, the next color. Uh, um, you guys know that Mary Jean is my godmother. I am talking to her yesterday, and she's like, would you just take one day and stay in bed? I can't keep up with you. And I was like, honey, I can't keep up with me, and I can't just sit in bed. That's never going to happen. Never going to happen. <laughs> I think I make her tired. Oh, cool. Good. I like to just use pieces of paper for my, my thing. For this. For all of this stuff. Okay, this one is Key West. Both Apple Barrel and English Navy. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, those colors look really pretty together, don't they? <laughs> okay. messy job. It's very messy tonight. We're supposed to have kind of decent weather this weekend. So I'm hoping it doesn't like rain and I'm hoping I can get my chandeliers up. I got to get this done. Alex is going to be leaving soon and I have to get it all done before I ha he's gone. <laughs>
This is a pretty color. I do like navy turquoise, diff different shades of blue. I don't get um, super crazy with it, with being matchy matchy on everything. I do have like turquoise curtains, but they're not this turquoisey. Okay. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Oh, I keep losing my thing. I need a longer cord. Yes, he did, Darla. Yes, he did. Yes, because I am so not Mexican. <laughs> Just my kids. Just my little babies. I hope so, Darla. Maybe two. Um, in June. But still. I tried to tell him, we have got to get some stuff done. But, you know, like you have to have your room straightened and... Blah, 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 you know, because when Alex straightens his room, he will just, like, um, throw all the clothes down that's not folded, right? Everything he's taken out, maybe he's only wore it for an hour, all goes downstairs to be washed. No, that's not going to work because we're having our um, house appraised on um, Saturday. And I'm like, guys. You, you know, you got to get it folded and you got to put it back and you got to like put stuff away and you only have until Saturday morning at 11 a.m. So when are you going to do it? Because you just got home from dinner with your friends right now. Now the NFL draft is on. Tomorrow he's doing something else after work. And then Saturday he's going to top golf. And I'm like, well, at least that's in the evening though. I'm like, you have got to get this done like now because I think I'm going to be taking it over. <laughs> it's really hot in my room in the summer, and I think that if it's super hot, I might just come downstairs and sleep in his room. It's the most comfortable bed in the whole house. Yeah, again, I want to take it over and put her makeup in there, but two, he'll only be gone a couple months, so that's not going to happen. Yes, Lorene, I'm, I'm super tired, but I'm feeling a little bit more with it. <laughs> I just was totally out of it. Yes, Stacey, it sure is. This gives it a chippy method where it makes it look like it's kind of been rough sticking around for a while. You can do this with any color combination. You could have put white underneath instead of staining it. Um, this is just, I was just going with what I already had the one done. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I know. We need to get out and take Mary Jane to lunch, but my gosh, the, it's such a long wait everywhere you go. An hour, two hours, and it's like crazy. Sitting in your car. Hey, Mary.
lumpy is really, 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 really good in your eyes. That would be pretty good. So I like the color combination. Put that away. Let me just clear some of this away. Toss that. Can't be bothered. <laughs> there would, Lorraine. Thanks, Lori. You're exhausted from all that drying. This drying? Sorry. Gotta dry it. Okay. So, again, these are from the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do is put one on each one of these. And we're just going to hot glue them on. And then it doesn't matter right now because I will arrange them in the order I want them when, um, when I go to put it together. Alrighty then. Okay, so we're just going to eyeball it. Careful, because it's gonna it's gonna come through the back. Alex, what are you doing? I thought you were watching the draft. He's ignoring me. He's sh he's in the kitchen. And it's like you just got home from dinner. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can hear what he's doing now. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Darla, okay. Okay, Darla, I'm so sorry. So this is what we're looking at, okay? A little bit of cuteness going on here. And we're just going to set them to the side to dry. This one is done on both sides only because it was from a different project that that lantern I made, I took apart. I didn't like it. So I took it apart and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> okay. These are um, very hard to find anyways at my Dollar Tree. It's, um, thank you, Rocky. It, they are in the everyday section of the party supplies. Not just like, um, they're not up front. Oh, oh boy. What you talking about, Bobby? Throwing away the um, paint stick or, or the paintbrush? Oh, because I've thrown away my project. I um, I wasn't gonna sit here and take it apart for four bucks. I was, I took that off. I took the, some of the twine off, and I was like, this is just this is going in garbage because I, obviously, if I'm coming on to craft, I want to craft the project from start to finish. I don't want to be doing half the project. So it's like I'm not going to redo it or I'm not going to um, just use the same frames again. I'll just 
Plus, they wanted to break if I took them apart. Yes, I get you now. Sorry. Sometimes I, I forget what I've said, and then... <laughs> oh, Rosetta, that's awesome. That's cool. Mine are done with school, and... Uh, well, Audrina has got seven and a half days off till she starts again. I was like, oh, good job, honey. I'm so... Now you can relax. She's like, yeah, for seven and a half days. I'm like, oh, sorry. But she'll just be doing a real quick, I think, seven weeks or something. Hold on a minute. There's a... A lot of fuzzies on here from my um, baby wipe. But she is switching her major, and so she's going to be doing um, something else, and now she's double majoring. So she's like, I'll be in school for all this time. I'm going to be so behind. I'm like, who cares? You're fine. Don't worry about it. You do you, girl. You're not here for anybody but you. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> That's awesome. Why not? Who cares? If we don't like it, then just get rid of it. I'm going to come back into these wheels and put a little bit of glue down like this. I just didn't want it to come off. Okay, perfect. Now it'll stay down really well. Okay, before we assemble it, I want to... Okay, so do we decide... Let's decide. Do we want the word beach or do we want the word relax? So what I'm going to do is put letters on here and between the nautical um, symbols. So I have five of these. So I was thinking either beach or relax. Any thoughts, any care in the world or not so much? Beach. Relax. Either one works for my living room, so it doesn't matter to me. We'll we'll see what everybody thinks. Yeah, there's another one with it. <laughs> Actually, I should make sure. B E A C B. Do I have an E? Ooh. Oh. B. Uh. I don't even have an E to do relax. Duh. Oh, there's one. R E L. Relax. Okay. B E A C. Ooh, I can't even do beach, can I? <gasps> so never mind. It's got to be relax because I don't have another H. <laughs> that sucks, but that's how it goes. Okay. Relax it is. <laughs> Looks like relax is what. Um, what you guys like anyways. I'm going to put it on the cardboard. Because I'm worried that it won't stay. These are just from the Dollar Tree as well. Okay. What I want to try to do is see if I can paint them. 
I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint them um, white. I think. <laughs> That's hilarious, Rosetta. What was that? What was that? Oh, are they, um, Darla? Uh, yeah, they're pretty okay where I go. I was just going to see if this would even work. I'm going to just do it on one of these. Because I don't really know that. I kind of would like the white better. What I could probably do is after I, after I um, cut them out, I bet you I could take the sticker off. Oh, Nancy, that's terrible. <laughs> I don't know, honey. Am I one of your favorites? Because I think if you make my page um, one of your favorites, then you should get, um, maybe not notified, but you'd get something in the feed. I don't know, honey. I don't know. I really burned my finger. It's burning my, my pinky right here. Okay, I have to concentrate so you know I can't talk at the same time, right? <laughs> that does not work for me. These are just cheap scissors. I don't even know where I, they came from. Let me try my thing again. Hello, Rosemary. Um, you could definitely use the Dollar Tree um, other word letters that, that you can get, and those are really hard to find. But I, they're not very big, and the reason that's why I went with these because these are a much larger letter, and I wanted it to to stand out and be proportioned to those a little bit more because otherwise they were kind of they were going to get lost because they were dang near almost half the size. So that's why this is a little bit length lengthier process, but I mean obviously you do you if you chose to make it, but. We're, uh, we're good, how are you? Dollar Tree Sue. These are from the Dollar Tree and they're over where the, um, what's that called, the, the boards for school and the shipping supplies and envelopes and stuff. Oh wow, it's actually not coming off. Okay. Alrighty then.
Yes, there you go. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Thank you, Sue, for, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Please do not forget to sprinkle or spread the mustard. I feel like it's Friday. I'm so I'm so off um, on my days. And I was the same way last week. I guess I'm wishing it's Friday. I, it's the only thing I can think of. Is that I want it to be Friday so bad that I think it's Friday. If you use maybe a little bit, this is a pretty thin board. I don't know if you could go any thinner. So it's just an area. Sometimes you got to go in there and snip away at it for the, the bottom part to come off. Cynthia. Thank you, Stacy and Nancy. Hello, Stacy. Any big plans for tomorrow, guys? Gales? Oh, I did not mean to do that. See what I mean about these knives? That's why I like to use that other one, but it's not cutting very well, so. I had to resort to this one. Hello, Sherry. I don't really care about them coming to look at my house. They shouldn't even need to come in the house. They should just drive by because it's worth more than I need. So, way, like, way over. So I don't even, I wish they just wouldn't even come in. But I guess they have to. Doesn't bother me. My house is, you know what I mean. You just gotta straighten it up, I guess, right? It's more Alex. <laughs> I mean, my basement is my basement. There's a lot of stuff in here. It is what it is, but that's what a basement's for, isn't it? Hold all your all your stuff you're hanging on to. <laughs> all your extra furniture. That's basically what I have down here. I've told you guys many times that it's nothing but like furniture. Chairs and a couch and dressers. I got lots of dressers. Almost there. I know some of this is boring, but I don't know. I, you know, I can do a lot of this before I come on, but then it's like people don't, you don't see how I've done it. And I don't feel that that's like the true, the right way to do it. So that's why I take the time to show you, even if it is tedious, it's, I feel it's important. So, but some, maybe I guess if you're advanced crafting or something, you, you don't want to sit and have to watch it. I get it. Right, exactly, Lorraine. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yep. So I'm not worried about it. It's a small house. It is what it is. Like I'm never gonna see that guy again anyways, or girl, woman. I don't really care, There's nothing, nothing wrong with my house. Now that I'm doing this, though, I wanted to read you my 
my floors in my kitchen and I thought about ripping it up over the winter but I contemplated on on doing this and so <laughs> I'm like eh, better wait so I did but now the fun will begin me and Audra and I were sitting there having a little snack last night sitting at the kitchen table and I was like Ooh, we need to pick out wallpaper and maybe we'll make that wall over there, a focal wall, be different than the rest of the walls. And <laughs> Oh, I was just in my glory. Just in my glory. I absolutely love to decorate. And this is going to be a big transformation. And I've contemplated this transformation for three years. But I'm just going to do it. <laughs> right, Lorraine? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not worried about it. Maybe they'll be like, what's all this stuff for? And I'll be like, well, listen, <laughs> especially if it's a woman, maybe you'd be interested or maybe your wife would be interested in hanging out with us at night. <laughs> I don't generally talk to people about it. You know, I don't just go randomly talking in public about it because that's super weird and people are probably like, you're pushy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a pushy salesperson. <laughs> Almost done. How's that draft going? Anybody know? show what Sue when I'm done my messy basement <laughs> Cynthia I'm making a, a garland for um, a nautical garland for my for my mantle I just took my some firewood outside today I didn't even realize it was sitting on the side of the of the hearth Okay, so we have the word relax. Let me see if these stickers will come off. Probably not. Oh, maybe so. I was going to say, they stick better than I thought. The brown would be much easier for me to cover over. I just think the black is too much, too dark for this project. I'm not big into black letters when I have all these pretty colors going on. I want, I want it to all coordinate. So I think I would like to do this more of a white... But this is a, a good stencil, a good way of using this for stencils. The lines just pick someone. Well, it's probably nobody that's going to help us out. Um, they have subscription groups. So if anybody ever wants to, when I open up a subscription group, I will open up a, a craft subscription group like the rest of them do. And you guys would be able to privately crack with me. I don't know, Mary Jane. I don't do anything else. That's the problem. So 
So the thicker the cardboard, the easier um, this will be. I think if you went any thinner than this, you might have a problem trying to um, keep it stiff. I believe you can buy these in white. Does anybody know that for a fact? Oh, cool, Brenda. So here's our last one. I have these chandeliers over here I want to make nautical. I have this one um, pellet table I made in my backyard and it's right over by where I grill. And I have, it. it's um, white, white, white. And then I have this cute little navy blue anchor. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's metal and I, we screwed it on there. And, and then I put some of that netting on there. And then my lighthouse goes on top of there so I was going to make these lanterns. I think I sh might have showed you guys the other night. I had spray painted them navy blue, even though you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right. Now we'll try it. This is much, much better. Yes, I th this is chalk paint. It probably will take two coats to do it properly. But we shall see. You know by now I'm not taking the easy way out, right? I just had to make the most complicated letter in the world. Hey, Mara. How are you feeling, Mara? Is that right? Is that right? No, it's like that. Perfect, Brenda. I have to get myself a couple, another set of those lights that I had from Amazon um, so I can do it in these nautical lights. I'm only doing one light and they're not super, super bright. However, we haven't really had very good sunny days. So I have one of those turquoise ones, the big round ones that I had done. I have that out on my bar and I just have it sitting there trying to see about getting the solar part of it moving, you know, getting it charged up. And so the other night I looked at it and it was, had only been outside for like a couple hours in the evening. So I didn't think that was like a good measuring tool for it. So I left it out there, but it still doesn't seem to be super bright, but hello, Jamie. We'll see. Um, oh, you never go outside, Darla? Well, at least you get good gardening stuff, or good, um, see, vegetable garden. Well, welcome, Jamie, from Missouri. Hello. Okay, one more quick one. Don't forget to sprinkle, please. I thought about doing the corrugated as well. I just kind of thought it might rip too much, so that's why I chose not to. But quite frankly, this cardboard that I have, if you were to if you could rip it apart, it is corrugated in the middle. I want to say this is just a piece of, um, in the calendars, you get that one piece of cardboard that's hard. Hey, Nancy, that's so kind of you. 
Thanks everybody for welcoming the newbies. Appreciate that. I've seen a couple other ones as well. Thank you. So you probably could have had these letters twice. <laughs> One corrugated and one not. All right. Good to go. One more quick dry and then we're going to get it assembled. Caseville. I know somebody that has a cottage in Caseville. I think. If you, are you in Michigan, Jamie? Oh, you know. You guys must be talking to yourself something, somewhere else. <laughs> Never mind. We have a case go here. Hi, Robbie. Welcome. Nice, Donna. Okay. I think we're pretty good here. We'll get these glued on and then we're going to assemble it. And I'm just going to use some, some uh, twine. I'm not going to get into anything all crazy. And I don't have, like, I do have some nautical, um, what is it called? Ribbons? So we can take a look at that and see if we want to do anything with that. Right now, let's just get a few things out of the way so I have some space to do the assembling. Okay. Get all this out of the way. I'm going to need quite a bit of space. Drop my pen on the floor. I heard it fall. All right. Get these glued down. Thank you, Jamie. Glue them on. Hey, uh, Shelly. Looks pretty good. Just, I'm trying to even Steven it. more um i did not cut the burlap too i bought it like this from the dollar tree they have those little um things um these little metal what do you call those it's on the tip of my tongue um and so these were also they were both from the Dollar Tree, and they both came in their own separate packs. I looked and looked and looked and looked for these things for for months. You could definitely cut your own um, and put those little um, things in there yourself. The ga gar garment, garments, garments, garments. Yes, Nancy, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> 
I know it. I just can't. I can't ever remember it. Okay. Last word or last letter to the word, and then we'll get to putting it together. So I'll pop, I'll just use this this twine here. It's a little bit thinner, but I think it'll work out best because the holes are not overly thick on on this. So we're going to get ourselves a long, long piece. I need to be able to go around the end of my, the sides of my mantle. I have to go around the side of it because I have some hooks on the side that I, I like to get to on each side to end up my thing. Okay, Charlene, that's cool. I would never know how to put them in. I don't know if it's difficult to do or not. So, all right. Now we're going to start off with, let's, let's assemble it real quick. Or put it in order. So our, then we'll go. R -E. I'm going to kind of overlap it a little bit. L real. And we'll go with this one. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start backwards, I think. No, what am I thinking? Um, I'm going to have this one, I'm going to have them go across the front. Yeah, I'm going to have them go across the front, that's cute. And I'm going to do a little bit... I think I'm going to put a bead in between each one of them. Let me see if I have enough of these big ones. One. No, I'm not going to have enough of those. Let me see about these. Same size. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take it off so I can put a bead on first. This is the problem. I never know. <laughs> I never know how much string I need. So I'm always like over killing it. What you gonna do, right? Gotta make sure you have enough. No? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt it. Um, my seamstress that lives, uh, the lady I know here locally around the corner from me, she made my wedding dress and she knows how to do all this stuff, right? So she, um, she was like, oh yeah, I could make you like some sun sails or what, sail, sail, sun sails, is that what they're called? I just want to make sure I have enough string to go around the edge. And I, again, it's overkill, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And she was talking about putting this, this, those Gamets, or however you say it, garments, granite, granite, whatever. Okay. So, on each side of the bead, I will be tiny knot. And this one's going to take a lot of string. If you don't tie a knot, it's fine. It's just going to, they'll move around a little bit more. That's all. Okay. Back to the beginning. I think I have enough. 
enough string. I think I do. Like I said, better to be safe than sorry. The uh, last one I had made, I was a little bit short when I was doing the, um, on the end. And I, I, well, the whole thing was a little bit short. I didn't have a, a lot of it, stuff. So it's kind of like in the middle of the mantle. It didn't look the greatest. Okay. I'll ultimately wind up just hot gluing them probably to the string to get them all to stay in spot in one place. Oh. to our beads. I know, tedious, boring, I'm sorry. But this is how crafts are made. They're not a snap your finger and it's done. I know some people like that. That's what YouTube's for, I think. <laughs> Who's on cloud nine because of their husband? I missed it. I only see part of the comment. Darn it. miss out on the fun. <laughs> what is going on here? Coming again from behind. I'm definitely will be hot gluing these in place. Do you remember that rabbit and carrot one I made? I didn't have enough rabbits or carrots. It wasn't wide enough for, um, for it to look right on my mantle, I didn't think. So, see that one, see that little thingy already came off of here. The garment, garment, granite, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> that, that thingy there, it's already come off. Grommet, that's how you say it, grommet. So I want to make sure that this is like wide enough and hopefully this will be. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Shelly, for telling me. Awesome, Brenda. That's so awesome. I see it now. Congratulations, Brenda. That's awesome. I remember when that when my mom had got to ring the bell. Yeah, that was fun. That's awesome. Kind of getting my groove down here <laughs> in and out and up and down and <laughs> tie it twist it pull it plus my strings getting a little bit shorter not so much to pull Yes, 
they are wood, uh, Shelly. Let me move that out of the way. It goes fast when you concentrate and and know like what your next step is. Because a lot of times I'll, I'll get to talk in, shocker, me talk, and then I'll be like, oh wait, and then I forgot it, and then it takes too much time going off and on here. And ladies, if you don't do nautical in your house, do anything with these. This is just an idea. Throw, sell, throw yourself some wood flowers on here. Scrapbook your flowers, every petal. I believe, you know, if you could find yourself some or, or trace out something and make your own little cardboard uh, petals, um, flowers like the size of the wheel, and put some scrapbook paper on them or something, and you could do, or tulips, or heck, you could even take fake Dollar Tree flowers and glue them on or something fun like that. I know, Nancy. I'm so sorry. It is just the craft of the night. Or is it every night? I don't know. Maybe she's maybe she's insulting me. I don't think so. <laughs> Not my Nancy. I know. I know, ladies. It's, like I said, I can't snap my fingers and it's done. Sometimes I wish, because, yeah, this would be more fun if, um, if it were over. <laughs> it's the end result, right, ladies? Let's do this. It's going quicker. I have less and less every time to pull through. Oh, thanks, Lorraine. Dollar Tree, hun, Shelly, Dollar Tree, in the everyday um, party supply section. It's not easy to find, though. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. When I found it, I grabbed it. I actually might have found some of it in Ohio when we had gone to Ohio that one time. I Because I don't believe I found them both at the same store. Because they're, you know, two different styles. Right, Donna. <laughs> Mara. She's just teasing anyways. I know, I know that Nancy's just teasing. I know she's just playing around. Be nice. We'll be nice. I was just teasing you too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. It's starting to pull away from the burlap. Like the burlap is... It's not even in there. It's kind of um, coming apart there. So let's get that. Let's get that tacked down before the um, grant gra, gra, grommet. <laughs> Sorry, you can't talk. This is getting a little bit. Yucky, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Give me a fresh start here. Yeah. No, we, we were we we no, Nancy. We're I'm not offended, and I don't think I don't. I hope nobody else is. I was just playing back with you. I'm not offended. I'm not offended. <laughs> I was just teasing you. More or less because, I, you know, we've okay, we've been talking about nasty comments and stuff. And it's ju not just me, ladies. Every time I turn around, there's some other there's some other crafters. We, we support each other and stuff, you know, which I think is cool. That's what we should be there for each other, right? Anyways, there, um, I'm not the only one. Gosh, there's so many rude people out there. It's incredible. It's just incredible. How rude they are. Like, come on. I 
I don't want to come on here every day and do a boring craft. <laughs> right. Listen, Liz. I just have to make sure that I don't mess up and spell it wrong. Get something out of order here. It's coming along. I've only got four more left. So we're, we're getting there. Just pray that I have enough string. It's all you need to be worrying about right now. Because <laughs> if I don't have enough, I'm going to have to take it apart and do it all over. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it. Better pray. <laughs> oh, thanks. I know everybody. We're, we were just messing. Don't no. We're not a serious uh, crowd around here, so don't ever take anything serious, unless you know that it's somebody that we don't know. But we know who's been around. We know who likes me and who don't. friend stop moving around we can take care of all of this by just gluing stuff together good thing I didn't have to cut the burlap and all that we would have been here all night Thank God tomorrow's Friday, and I'm probably going to cut out of work early. That's my thought anyways. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell the boss. <laughs> it would be fun to start over, Nancy. Oh, all right, Nancy. <laughs> hey, Lynn, I'm making a nautical garland. <laughs> right? See, Patricia, that's what I was saying to somebody. This is not we're not here to make a to rush through the craft we're here to show the craft talk while we're showing the craft you don't learn i mean if you want to just watch a youtube video that's cool i'm not nothing against that that's fine and dandy but that's not what facebook does that's not what we women on facebook do that's like a short tutorial video and i've done that but you guys seem to like the interaction as well as i do it's boring to sit here and craft by myself and then go edit the video for an hour or two. And it's no joke. That's can be the, the process. And voice it over and or throw some music with it. It's quicker for us to come on and do a live. Quite frankly. Even if we were on for an hour and a half or two hours. But I want to come talk to you guys. I don't know about you. I don't have... Her project's done, Shelly. She... I don't know if she got any grades. Are you watching, Adriana? Probably not. She was on earlier, but she um, she's done with school. She showed the project the other night, and it's actually sitting over here. She showed it last night, I think. And um, she's like, I better get 100%. <laughs> okay. So. Right, Trisha. Right. Oh, Debbie, that's so kind of you. That's nice to hear. All right. Two more. Two more. Two more. I think the bead is just a cute little added touch, and it's just what it needs. You could definitely put some some stuff in the middle of it, like some, um, what do you call that, uh, ribbons or something. I've already done that with a different craft. It turned out super cute because I had some, like, rag stuff with it. But this one I don't want to 
do rag stuff with. Um, you could probably do some cute bandanas with it, and that would look adorable. But I don't think I'm going to get into to any ribbons. Hoo -hoo. Look at how, how awkward that thing is. I'm going to leave that one alone. Put it in the misfit pile. Well, that's okay, Charlene. You don't have to. You don't have to talk. There's no requirements here, right? <laughs> right, Amy. True. And so, you know, that's how other people. Whether you're locked down or not, there are a lot of people that are home and they're lonely and they don't talk to anybody all day long. I go to work, and the majority of my day I'm spent by myself. No joke. I work in an office that I'm generally there by myself. I would say out of an entire year, 80% of the time I'm alone. I have a TV. I watch. I have it on. It's it's great noise. Um, I sit and eat lunch at my desk. It's very quiet most of the time. And so... I come here to interact with people. When I was younger, my kids were younger and I lived with my sister. She'd come home from work and I think I'd talk her damn ear off. She's like, as soon as she get in the door, you know. And I think that's pretty typical. You're bored. You want to, or you're not bored. You you want adult interaction. And that's what I'm doing here. Is getting some me time. Right, Nancy? Isn't Wouldn't that be fun? Nancy, I forget where you live. I know I've sent you some stuff, but I forget where you live. Yeah, same with you, Patricia. You would be out of your mind if you didn't have something to do. Just quite frankly, that's how it started for me was with the pandemic. I had seen a few, um, I had some, something came across my feed, crafting, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a really cute idea. And, and then I just, it just, kept, you know, I, I, I kept seeing it every so often, and then I decided to search the person and there wasn't that many videos, um, and they weren't new to it anything or anything. I think they were just more of a YouTube people, because they don't they just did tutorials. They don't do lives. And then I kind of just started looking around and found more crafters, and I was like, wow, I mean that's a great idea. That's cute, and it made my mind just open up and go. And so I j just did some crafting last summer. I've crafted for years. Oh, isn't that funny, Nancy? Because Alex is going to Pennsylvania for a couple months internship in June. And me and Adriana were thinking about going um, to see him. She, they, I'm not sure the city he's in. They said you're two mile or two, two hours from Philadelphia and two hours from New York City. So I'm not really sure. Um, I have to find out. I asked him, and he, he couldn't remember. He's waiting for his contract to come over. I'm like, I hope it has the address. Right, Amy. Right. <laughs> oh, thanks, Marianne. That's so kind of you. Okay, let's take a looky. Let's take a look. And I think I am good on my string. Okay, I'm going to try to like lay it down so you can see it. And it's, um, I don't know. I might have to do it like, I don't even know, maybe like this. Can you see it? I'll try to hold it up and see if, if you can see enough of it. And then I'll kind of like go go with it. What did I just do to this stinking thing? Okay. Okay, can you see it? I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to walk it. I'm going to walk it. I'm walking it. I'm walking it. I'm walking it. You like it, or you don't like it? What you think, ladies? What you thinking? Thank you. Thank you so much. I will definitely post a picture of it, Beth. 
when it is on my mantle. Yes, ma'am, I will. Yes, ma'am, I will. So, I do have some ribbon. Um, that, and I do have a couple that are just really cute color-wise that will match it. But I'll show you. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> I do have some of these that you could definitely, if you wanted to put something here, I mean, you could. I really, I don't think I would. I think if I do anything, I will take some navy. Um, if I even have a navy. I guess I don't. Bandana is what I was looking for. A navy bandana. I do have a navy bandana, actually. I mean, I might, I might want something like that because to me it looks more summery. Um, <laughs> yes, Brenda, I am strutting the craft runway. Francine, you know what, honey, this, <laughs> I don't even know that I used anything that I bought last year. These were out last year. And I happen to be looking through this thing of wood that I have here. Raw wood. Is it um, unfinished wood? Not raw. <laughs> unfinished wood. And so I was looking through it tonight and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I cannot believe I have all of this stuff. And I remember picking it up last year because last year was the first year I did nautical in my living room. And I switched everything over. And um, I might have done something a little bit the year before. I don't remember, though. So these are the only nautical ribbons that I got. The rest of this stuff I got last year. And the burlap is in the everyday section. We only have $2 trees that I have found stuff at. And it's not the full line either. Because I know there's a lot of this unfinished wood that they've got. I've got a lot of the surface boards that I probably wouldn't do anything with other than put surface on it. Except for maybe this. Because that's cute. And um, I even like... I even like this with the word beach, but this I would do something with, but it's kind of, it's corrugated. So I would do something with it. But with that being said, uh, now I, I have, I have more than eight around me. I probably have like 20 that I could hit in, in a pretty quick, you know, 15, 20 minute drive of my house. And I can't even find hardly not the stuff I'm looking for is really what I'm getting at. These are the ones that I had made um, spray painted black. I'm sorry, navy, and they come black. These little um, doohickeys. And so what I'm going to do with this is um, just real quick, I'll show you one because it's not going to be, um, nothing else will be done to it. I'll just take it and hot glue this around here and quite frankly what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue right onto the, onto the um, nautical rope this is from the Dollar Tree also and this one is um, the, the light tan one and I like this one better than this color for this particular project Just real quick, I'll show you what I'm, I'm going to do with them. And then um, once they're up outside, then I will show you. I'll take pictures or I'll do a live outside. As long as I can get reception and it's not windy like the other day. <laughs> I know it was really windy the other day, but I didn't even think of it when I went on live that it would be that bad. Sadie's getting in trouble again. I can hear her. Oh, Jenna, are you there, honey? If you are, come see me, please. Put a decent bead of glue, to, glue on. I, I don't know that this will last all summer. The, the the glue kind of 
Darla. A real quick, a real quick. Yes, real quick, Darla. Yes, they're planter baskets, uh, Shelly, from Dollar Tree. And I spray painted them navy. It's a messy job. hear Hunter's tail smacking against the floor up there and Sadie's growling and getting in trouble that girl's mouth <sighs> poor baby she takes after her mama she's mouthy Adriana are you there listening anyone anyone hey Alex could you ask your sister to come down here for a second? Are you done? No. Oh. oh. Don't say it like that. Oh. Because I want to swear. You want to swear? Oh. Why? Are you having a hard time with your... Uh... Ow! That wasn't dry. <laughs> Be careful. Almost, Alex. Almost. What do you got to swear about? You don't, you don't like what's happening or what? What? You don't like what's happening on the draft or what? I love it. Oh. I love it, love it, love it. Do you? Here comes the troops. I got rolls too, Mom. Okay, honey. Thank you. Did you get a um, final grade on your project yet? The ladies were asking about your art project. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Do you want to show it again? Because I'm not sure that somebody was asking and they must not have seen it sure. yesterday. Because it was like a five-second thing. There's her, her project that she did the other day for her, her art class. She has not gotten graded on it. When she gets her grade, she'll let us know, right? Sadie's neck is like doing that thing with her collar again, so I took it off. Oh. Really? Yeah. I wonder if it's the water, all the water she's been, you know, um, playing in the pool and stuff. Uh-huh. Miss Sadie Grace, got to get her in the swimming pool. So I'm just trying to get this to glue together. So it'll stop fraying. Right. Everybody says, nice job, very nice job, nice job, good job, blah, 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 thank blah, you. blah, blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, guys. Especially this. She's been so mouthy. I heard her. All right, let's just glue this on the top, and this is what's, this is what it's going to be. So what will happen is I have some more lights coming from Amazon. You, did you? Did, if you saw that little light bulb that I bought, and it's got the solar light on the top with a, like a little clip, what will be happening is I will take that solar light and it will fit right up in here, so it'll actually look like a real light because it'll it's a light bulb shape. Um, but I have them outside right now because I'm trying to get the solar, you know, to charge on it. So it was a little bit short back here, but you're not going to see it. And what I have is the Dollar Tree um, planters. Like you, you stick the, um, it's got the little fork in it. You stick it and then it's got the, and it comes out. And you hang, you're hanging baskets on it. That's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to zip tie it to the fence, spray paint that also navy. And then 
the arm will come out over my pallet table thing that I had made. And it's just a narrow, it's like maybe 12 inches from front to back. Um, I have some brick pavers on the top that are 12 inches. So that's how, I think that's about the, the width of it. So these will just go over the top of it and then the light will loom, illuminate down. So I was just trying to put a little bit of nautical touch on the light itself. So that's what I'm doing with these and I'll duplicate it with that. And then when I get all of my lights up in the backyard and everything ready, um, then I, what I'll do is I'll go and do a live back there um, and take care of business like that. Okay, ladies, well, I will be on tomorrow night, later on, definitely after eight o'clock, um, cause I got a lot going on tomorrow as well. And so what I'm gonna do is, um, craft later well oh I usually craft after eight anyways but so if I if I come up with a time I'll post a time tomorrow so watch my page and then I'll definitely post this um, on my page as well having this up even though I don't have my nautical stuff up right now I'll put this up just to take a picture and then in June I will switch it um, my decor out to nautical for the rest of the summer okay so, well, thanks, Nancy. Um, I will see everybody sometime tomorrow evening. And everybody have a great Friday. Thanks for hanging with me. Good night.